I heard you also had a pretty incredible off season. You went to Uganda with Matthew Boyd. I did. I did. It was a. Uh, it was fun. It was a uh, definitely a perspective sh shifting trip. Uh, How long were you there? Uh, we were in. I was in Uganda. I think five plus days, maybe kind of almost six. Um, but I had part of another trip kind of squeezed in, kind yeah. of did like a full like cross countries trip. Oh, wow. But, uh, it was fun. I'm sure it was kind of like a life changing trip. I could only imagine. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, just once you get over there and just see uh, what life is like over there and get to meet all the kids, all the, all, the, uh, all the children in the homes and stuff, that's, there's no way for that not to like impact your heart a little bit. So um, I feel like definitely a life changing trip. Sure. Well, it's great to have you here back with your teammates at spring training. What's it like being here for you? Uh, it's fun. It's exciting. Yeah. Uh, getting up early in the morning, uh -huh. which is my absolute favorite thing to do ever. Um, <laughs> and uh, but just getting to be here with the guys and see, just see everybody. I mean, you get used to everybody every day during the season, but then you have that long break, and it's mm -hmm. like oh, I miss the guys. And you get back, and it's like it's really exciting to get back. Um, but then just just seeing where everybody's at and how everybody's feeling and getting excited about the season. Yeah. What are you most excited for about this upcoming season? I mean, all of it. I just yeah. I feel. I feel like it's, I mean, I feel good about this year coming up, so I'm excited to see um, how I can contribute to the team, but also just what the team has in store. I think that we added some really good pieces this off season. I think we're gonna be really good. So I'm just excited to kind of see how it shakes out. I'm excited too. Yeah. So what are you gonna focus on personally? Like what's, what are your goals for this upcoming season? Uh, my number one goal would just be to make every start. Um, make the team out of spring training and then make every start in the year. And then past that, you know, make the playoffs of the team and make the all-star team, like things like that are some of my personal goals, but mostly just focusing on what I can control and trying to get better and um, just growing as a professional. Yeah, will you walk me through what it's like when you walk out to the mound? Like what's going through your mind and how do you get into that mental headspace before you start to pitch? Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> trying to get like a good routine going, but then once, yeah. once you get close to the game time, it's really just, kind of a hyper-focused, you're not really thinking about anything else but just getting out to the mound and executing pitches. Um, I usually, I might be thinking about a lot of stuff, might be a lot of stuff going on in my head, like before games and stuff, but as soon as like it's almost game time, usually I kind of just like lock in and um, not really noticing much around me. Yeah. yeah. Just trying to get out there and feel what the ball's supposed to do coming off my fingertips and then you know, hopefully have good results from there. Yeah. All right, so we're here in sunny Florida. I came from Michigan, it was about three degrees in Detroit when I left yesterday. Are you used to this weather or are you more of a, a cold weather guy? I'm definitely not more of a cold weather guy. <laughs> no uh, one is, right? I was in Nashville this all season. So it, got, oh, nice. it, got, it got cold, but it wasn't like brutal. It's yeah. definitely nothing like Michigan winters, which I don't know how, I don't know how people do it. I really don't. I don't, I do not like playing baseball in the cold. It is not, it is not fun, but it's part of it. You know, you, so you gotta prepare for it, get ready for it. Like I said, throwing all winter in the cold, it's, it's, it's part of preparing for it, but I, definitely prefer the sunny, warm weather of Florida. I'm right there with you, but you're, you're also a redhead, so how do you make sure yeah. you don't get sunburned? You, you have be, to wear a ton of sunscreen out there? You gotta be really careful, you know, I just try, to, just try to hide in the shade as much as I can. Um, just stay out of the sun, you know, just <laughs> get under get under a nice little shade tree, you know, whatever whatever it takes, but uh, no, I, I do burn pretty easily, so I gotta, I gotta be careful. And now talk to me about opening day. What's it like to be there? It's such a huge event in Detroit. It's like a holiday in Detroit. Yeah. So talk to me about what opening day means for you. Well, I've only experienced one, and it was pretty crazy. I uh, had no, no idea what to expect. Um, absolutely packed out house, mm -hmm. freezing cold. It yes. was like half snowing yes, that day. <laughs> um, I remember because I was pitching, and had, it was just an awesome, it was an awesome game. Um, just really exciting. Just I had no idea how excited people get. Like it really is like a national yeah. holiday in Detroit. So just being able to experience that once just gets you excited to have a few more. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. Yeah, of course. Thank All right, you. get out there. All right, <laughs> Bye. All right, guys, make sure you tune in tomorrow and the next day and the next day as we join more live players from our live stream right here at Tiger Spring Training in Lakeland, Florida.